Hey guys, uh, in this video I'll go over the Cayenne ROM for uh, the Samsung Galaxy S3 and I have the AT&T version with me. Um, if you don't know, the Cayenne ROM is the TouchWiz based ROM, it's not the uh, AOKP or uh, you know AOSP based ROM, it's based off the uh, TouchWiz interface. And uh, this ROM is uh, geodexed, uh, BC box installed and it not it is also of course rooted and zip aligned and um, it has all the bloatware removed um, the Samsung bloatware and all and uh, it has various different uh, other options like native hotspot and Wi-Fi tethering and uh, also it comes with the extended power menu so when you click restart you do have the extended options like hot boot download and recovery mode and um, it it comes with the um, with the AOSP style theme, so it's just a theme. So it's not it doesn't add any features of the AOSP, but it's only the theme which has changed. And let me show you the apps. What you get uh, for this ROM? I haven't installed a lot of apps after I install this ROM, so you can see that I only have two pages of apps. I mean, which is quite neat. Um, it gets rid of all the bloatware which comes with the uh, phone like the Samsung all share and uh, various different Samsung apps and uh, it does remove the SYs as well so um, I'm showing you the widgets which come in with this ROM and uh, you see that I have the AccuWeather widget that is also not uh, included initially with this ROM but later on uh, there is a, um, you know a zip file called as Cayenne Append which allows you to add uh, various different features if tell you want them back uh, all you need to do is you need to install that zip file into the uh, clockwork mode recovery so yeah so that's with the uh, widgets and um, uh, you do have two galleries which come in with this ROM the purpose of the uh, AOSP style uh, gallery is because if this ROM has the uh, scrolling wallpaper enabled so if all you need a scrolling wallpaper, you obviously need the OSB style gallery to crop the image. So that's with the uh, two galleries. And uh, I'm showing you the notification center here, which looks really neat, a blue themed like the OSB style. You do have the automatic brightness set. And you do have a semi-transparent uh, notification background, which is quite neat. And let me go over under settings. As you can see, the settings look is entirely different. The look is same as that of the USB. And um, there's nothing much uh, change in the settings. Um, let's get into the about and let's see the uh, different versions going on, the OS version and the uh, uh, the build version of the ROM. Uh, so yeah, and one more thing is about the uh, f look of the phone application can see that it has been changed as well and uh, let's get into the camera I don't think nothing much has changed in terms of features all the uh, features whatever you have on the touch was are present in here as well and uh, let me get under settings and let me show you the motion controls so that's the good thing about this ROM you don't lose any of the motion controls like swipe to take a screenshot uh, tap to go to the top of the list um, and the um, task manager still remains the same and you do have the um, phone app and what else um, yeah everything everything works just fine I mean the uh, LTE works fine for me the battery life has been uh, um, good and uh, I've seen a couple of people complain about uh, certain features of this ROM about like the battery life but I haven't seen any major you know drastic change in the battery life so yeah I mean that's all about it I mean if you want a uh, ASP themed ROM for your phone uh, but still you want all the touch uh, features definitely recommend this ROM um, so that's about it for this video if you like the video please rate the video and if you have any questions do put them in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.